Now, a little bit more about the robotic hair transplant procedure with the Artist System. The Artist System, it's a robotic FUE procedure. We talked about the other four types of different uh, follicular unit extraction procedures that are performed. Um, now, patients must trim their hair down to about one millimeter to really 1.2 millimeters. The image guided system requires that in order to appropriately measure and detect each hair follicle anymore and the system might register an overlapping hair follicle as the length may touch another uh, hair follicle and it registers two as simply one follicle. So it's a sort of a thing that has to be done. Now, does that mean the entire head has to be shaved? Absolutely not. That's not something that has to be done. In fact, for smaller cases uh, in, in female patients who are you know, up to four or 500 grafts, this is something that can simply be done through sort of a strip grafting that Dr. Jim Harris is, is working on perfecting at this uh, current time, but we will routinely can do uh, smaller cases without shaving the entire head. So it's not something uh, that needs to be done. Um, the other uh, issue is, too, is that in some patients who may need more than 500 grafts, uh, they can come back for repeated procedures in those same areas up to every oh, 30 to 35 days between procedures without having to, to do that. But they do have to commit some degree of social downtime uh, to, in order to sort of participate in, a, in a multiple procedures, okay? Now, uh, next, the uh, patients, once you are sort of prepared, the donor area is slightly shaved, we're placing you in an ergonomically uh, situated uh, chair. This allows the robotic arm to sort of swing around from behind and to be able to do all of the aforementioned things, to detect all the hair follicles, okay? And so next, uh, this uh, as you're placed uh, into the chair, you're in sort of a face-down position, very similar to the uh, to a uh, massage chair that you might find in an airport uh, wait, uh, airport lobby. Uh, then a, a skin tensioner is placed over the donor area in the back. This helps to provide tension and it also has a system of fiducials. Fiducials are just shapes and this helps the uh, robot tell itself where it's at in three-dimensional space. Okay, That uh, provides the uh, uh, sort of the skin tension over the surface of the skin and that allows for complete dissections and it allows for efficiency in, in, the, in the movements of the tool. Okay, now the exact sort of mathematical uh, selection of the hair grafts uh, really enhances the follicular units that are harvested. Uh, this is, is so, somewhat uh, randomized uh, across the back of the head and so you're not creating patterns or lines of harvest attempts that could be particularly noticeable by the, by the eyes one might scan the room, okay? That's not really a big issue, but it's something that's uh, that's done intentionally by by design with the robot. It doesn't just do sort of, you know, square areas and leave squared areas. It sort of diffusely to harvest them in a random pattern, okay? Now, once, this, uh, once you're in place and the robotic arm begins to uh, dissect um, under the direction of the surgeon, of course, and according to the harvest spacing as your surgeon sets, uh, sets the you know the spaces between each harvest de harvest device, then your recipient sites can be created, and this is done artistically by the surgeon. Some practices will uh, tend to uh, pre pre create these sites, and Dr. Bernstein has been uh, noted to uh, do to do this, and has uh, talked about this at length. And, and we do do those on larger cases, but on cases that are less than five or 600 grafts, these are much smaller cases, they take us a few hours, we're typically making those recipient sites afterwards. So you might ask, well, why do you do that? Well, we try to get the recipient sites, the number of grafts that we're gonna be putting in, we try to get those holes created beforehand because the less time out of the body that these grafts uh, spend, even though you have adequate holding solutions, we feel that you're going to get a better hair transplant. And so the timing of all this has sort of some uh, method to the madness. So in the smaller cases, it's fine to create those recipient sites afterwards. And so you know exactly where those graphs are going to be, to, to be, to be placed meticulously. Okay, and as always, it will take a very skilled surgeon who has a lot of anecdotal experience, who's done several uh, hair transplants and has that under their belt uh, and is through their learning curve in order to really create uh, the hair design and to sort of prevent you from 
perhaps trying to achieve something that really could lead you into an aesthetically displeasing result over time. Uh, those issues can be from ongoing hair loss, they can be from too low of a hairline, uh, they can be from a number of things that we just don't want to create in patients uh, without their uh, knowing. So we ask that you allow us to not only employ a, a very sophisticated device like the artist system, but let us also counsel you and let you know what is achievable and simply what uh, would, uh, would be fraught with problems later on down the road.